In this video, we will be studying about the drawing a bar graph. See, you had, you have a graph paper, so you will draw a bar graph on a graph paper. Your teachers will provide you the graph paper, or you might have a graph copy. So, first of all, what we need to think that there are two axes. Your x-axis. And your y-axis, which means one. This is a horizontal axis, and this is a vertical axis. Now this is O means this is a zero. Now whatever things are given to you in number of uh, Anything that is given to you, like days, years, any variable of which the numbers are given to you, you have to write here like age group. Anything that is given to you will come on x axis. Then the scale or the numbers will come on the y axis. Now you have to decide a. So, first major thing is decide a unit length. or a scale let's say there is an item that are given in this format like 2 6 10 then 12 and then 2 and 4 and 9 like this it is given so you can see then there is almost a gap of 2 2 2 so take a unit scale of 2 length so you start taking on 1 2 again 4 6 8, 10, 12, 14 and now start drawing the bar graph for the equal length this way you see the gap between the two bar graphs will be same the width of the bar graphs will be same like one unit and gap also of one unit so this you have to take care so you'll completely understood this if you have a graph with you. Let's take a question now. This is the question. We are given the years and we are given the how many uh, number of bicycles were manufactured by the factory. So we are asked to draw graph, bar graph and choo uh, choose a scale of your choice. So we can see that 800, 600, 900, 1100 and 1200 are the number of bicycles manufactured. So can I choose one unit length is equal to 100 bicycles. So let's take it on the scale of 100, 100. This is an x axis. This is your y axis. Your x axis and your o y axis. I told you on y axis you will take the scale 100. 200, 300, make sure the gap is equidistant from each other, means the gap you are taking should be same units, 400, then 500, I don't have a graph so there might be possible that my, you know, gaps are not according, 900, then 1000, then 1100, then 1200, and your y axis right now we have to take the number of year let's take number one year then a gap number two year then a gap three years then a gap fourth year then a gap fifth year right same year gap we have to take in 1998 800 bicycles were manufactured so 800 bicycles were manufactured in 1998 in 1999 600 bicycles in front of 600 draw the graph straight lines and everything should be straight 600 bicycles were in this 800 bicycles were produced in this 600 bicycles were produced in 1999 2005 say 900 bicycles were produced 900 Bicycles were reduced. 
so 900 in 2000 900 bicycles were produced then in 2001 1100 bicycles were produced so 1100 comes here after 1000 so in 2001 1100 bicycles were produced this is 2001 1100 bicycles are produced in 2002 1200 bicycles are produced take a straight line in 2002 1200 bicycles are produced and in 2001 1100 bicycles are produced so we have made the bar graph make sure you make the graphs on the graph paper and take the equal uh, you know distance and take the equal lengths accordingly just because i don't have a graph and a scale so i'm not able to draw a proper bar graph but you have to take the bar graphs on the bar scales now the question is in which year the maximum number of bicycles were produced? Can you see the highest bar graph is this one, right? So your highest bar graph is this one. So how many, uh, in which year the maximum number of bicycles were produced in which 2002? In which year the minimum number of bicycles were produced? Can you see the least bar graph? Which one is the least bar graph? This one. So in, you can say which is the uh, year in this, 1999. So 1999 is the year in which the minimum number of bicycles were manufactured. So I hope you have understood how to draw the bar graphs. Do download the Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.